a lucky for me is a very uh, I mean ambitious film of my entire career the reason because uh, I was very heavily influenced by Bruce Lee in my college days and growing years and he's been uh, one of the primary causes why I became a director because for me Bruce Lee was not just about fighting there is a there is individualistic attitude there is a kind of a philosophy he has towards life and uh, i just wanted i mean that kind of drove me to making a very individualistic uh, self expression where i take where i took films as my call and then i never really had a thing that i want to make a martial arts film that's because uh, india really doesn't have a culture of martial arts that much uh, uh, at the time and uh, but uh, it uh, always was the back of my head so when much later after i became a director i kind of seen i mean the later day martial artists after the uh, death of bruce lee like from donnie yen to jackie chan to various others uh, came jet lee tony ja i always used to wonder why they are not seeming to understand the original art of bruce lee in terms of how he interpreted the fighting arts and the style which he adapted they pretty much seem to be in a classical mold whereas bruce lee was always against uh, classical styles because he thought each person has to develop his own individual style which is what the uh, in the true meaning of original art is about so that is when i slowly started uh, thinking about can i attempt a martial arts film then uh, at a point of time one more thing i realized is you no know, bruce lee being a very small person he's like a 5 foot 7 inch guy with a body weight of hardly 60 kg but on screen he made me believe he can beat up people twice his size and multiple of them and it was very believable i think uh, a, a, a kind of a combination of the rage in his eyes and the fury and the speed and the agility and the extraordinary body he has so then i thought why not take it a step forward and make it into a girl because the whole point is a weak person cannot and a girl is weaker as uh, generally believed so that is when i fix up uh, the uh, basic plot line to be a female centric martial arts film so like i said earlier it was very difficult even to get a male martial art in india so female thought was much more tougher but uh, finally at a point of time i managed to get uh, puja its contact and she happens to be a taekwondo champion and took part in many national and international tournaments and then once i met her i got her trained in jeet kundo which is the bruce lee style yeah that's how the whole journey happened and after that i sent uh, the footage to a chinese company and uh, they were very impressed with puja skills and that was kind of really surprising because china is the mother land of martial arts like every greatest artist in china from bruce lee onwards came in came from china so them being impressed with a indian martial artist like puja was a huge uh, this thing for us so that's when it became indo chinese co production and uh, then lots of things and we've been shooting for the last 3 uh, years but uh, due to the covid thing and various other related issues it got delayed and finally we're looking for a simultaneous release date incidentally it is releasing on july 15th in china also in more than 40000 screens and so for me it is a very special film because i started my journey going on a cycle in hyderabad to a theater to watch enter the dragon when i didn't have money to buy the ticket and now what inspired me in that theater in hyderabad i managed to take that and convey in a certain film called ladki which is releasing in bruce lee's homeland in 40000 screens i think it's probably the greatest emotional high i've had in my career so far thank you